What's up and welcome to another local band. Smoking Armor host is Alan Most BG and today we're doing the Seven Cities Dead Siren Songs of the Apocalypse EP review. They're from Keel, I think that's how you say it, Keel, Wisconsin. Facebook.com slash Seven Cities Dead Band. They listed as Metalcore. Um, they've actually produced this whole EP themselves, so we're going to review it and uh, give a basically a final score at the very end when we've uh, reviewed all the songs. If you've never seen a uh, local band smoke over, I do an EP or an album review. I've already heard the whole thing. I've taken notes on every single song, and as we go through song by song, I kind of read off the notes, and um, then we listen to a fairly long snippet of the song. And if you enjoy it, I encourage you guys to go out and uh, either buy the CD from Bandcamp or just download them, follow them, however you can, just stay more involved with that band if you enjoy it. Um, but otherwise, it'd be kind of boring if it was like four or five minutes per song and it was just sitting on the camera like smoking weed for four or five minutes every song. That would get boring. So, uh, But before we dive in, let's do the sponsors real quick. Young Blood Productions, Dirty Radio, the free and censored app. I'm on every Wednesday and Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific time. It's awesome. You guys should check it out. There's like three really cool stations on there. Hexel's here designs who makes all of our t-shirts located in the shop section of our Facebook page. Boost AK Integra Products, Octave Studios, Jason Trevino Tattoos, and Vape Out located in Big Bear in Apple Valley, California. Stop in and use code LBS15, they'll take 15% off your purchase. Alright, so this is going to be a six song EP review. Take a little break halfway through, but the first one is going to be Taste of Innocence. It's an intro song, it's got a really cool radio sample in the beginning. Um, it quickly gets going, and then it, um, I really like the layering vocals that occur throughout the song. Good screams, clean, and a good clean hood. Nice, heavy, hard rock sound to start the EP. Track one from Seven Cities Dead, Taste of Innocence. Spark it up, we got it, here we go. some of the nah, 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 nah. <coughs> anyway that was track one taste of innocence track two is going to be in my own hands second song starts kind of quick and fast um the sick the song has a bit of an atreyu feel to it at certain parts it's got a really cool guitar break spot halfway through and a nice little solo track two in my hands here we go Reaction. Don't let the 
so that was track two, In My Own Hands. Track three is going to be Rising Tide. This song has a bit of a different feel to it, uh, the first two. It's actually one of my favorite songs on the whole EP. It's got a really good hook. I like the guitar riffs uh, and the verses on this one. It's got a pretty cool gang vocal that happens about three parts of the way through. And then it's got a really, really tight solo at the end. You guys probably won't hear the, that. In fact, you will not hear those parts in this little snippet. But that's the exact reason why you should go to their Bandcamp page. Seven Cities Dead, Bandcamp.com and uh, check them out and listen to the rest of the songs and discover why even though I just did a little snippet why it's worth checking out the whole song I'm telling you why it's worth checking it out track three rising tide this one's the jam right here Rising Tide from Seven Cities Dead out of Kiel, Wisconsin. We're doing the Siren Songs of the Apocalypse EP review. Facebook.com slash Seven Cities Dead Band. And we'll be right back with part two of the EP review. Review. Blah, blah, blah. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> All right, guys. So we are back with part two of the Seven Cities Dead Siren Songs of the Apocalypse EP review from Kiel, Wisconsin. Facebook.com slash Seven Cities Dead Band. And, uh, Track four up to track four. So the track four is gonna be the path unknown. Um, the beginning vocal sounds kind of like Corey Taylor to me in the first little bit. It's got a really cool, crazy guitar squealy that uh, occurs at a certain spot, and I like the call and response of this hook that occurs. And it's probably got my favorite solo so far in this entire EP. So it's gonna be track four, the path unknown. And um, let's see what it sounds like. Here we go.
for the path unknown. We got two more. Track five is gonna be called Disillusion. It's actually the shortest song in the EP. This one um, has a slight new metal feel at first, and then the screamer is just absolutely insane. The most screaming by far on any song on the entire CD. Real evil feel and vibes throughout this track, and it's probably one of my other favorite songs on the EP. It's called Disillusion. It's track five. Let me know what you guys think. Here we go. That's my favorite song in the whole city. <coughs> Disillusion. <coughs> Dang. <coughs> my lady just got this new pen set up and we always we always fucking use each other's like setups and stuff when we smoke. But this battery is huge for, for cartridges and you can adjust it to the temperature and whatever. But if it fucking hits hard. Anyway, track six. All wars start from within. It's the outro song in the EP. This song has a bit of a hardcore metal punk influence to it at certain parts, at least that's what I heard. Um, there's a cool change part that occurs around three-fourths of the way through that has like a... It draws like a strong influence from the the band Seven Dust, if you guys know that band. Um, I really hear like a Seven, du Seven Dust influence where like... There's like a drastic change that happens towards the end of the song. Um, it's really sweet. You won't hear it in the snippet, but please go and check them out on the Bandcamp page. and. Uh, just listen to this part, it's really, really cool. Track six, All Wars Start From Within. Go! 
All right, we made it to the album. I'm sorry, the EP assessment for Seven Cities Dead. Facebook.com slash Seven Cities Dead Band. They're from Keel, Wisconsin. Kyle, Wisconsin. I'm not sure how to say it. Siren Songs of the Apocalypse is a self produced EP that rocks. While the mix has some issues to it, there are lots of parts that shine, and they shine really, really bright. The screaming vocalist demands attention with a powerful voice throughout the EP. And it's filled with tons of solos that shine more in the second half, or in my favor, of what, where I like most of the solos on um, the second half of the EP versus the first, but um, they're surely not to be missed. I have a couple of suggestions. Um, I feel like when I wrote down more room in the track, so I have, I listened to almost every band in here around the same volume, and I can hear everything that's going on in the mix. I just don't hear a whole lot of bass, and even though the song's like loud, I don't hear a whole lot of the in the bass going on, um, bass section. So I think I feel like you guys have like a whole bunch of room left in your mix that you're not utilizing, that could make the song sound more full. Like um, the kick drum and the bass guitar at the same time when you do like the like little chuggy sections. Anyway, all that could be like more thumpy in in the mix. I also wrote down um, the clean the clean hooks are are really kind of hard to hear throughout the song. Um, there could be some harmonies for him as well. Um, <clears throat> I put bass could be boosted in most songs that I wrote that initially. Um, but my two favorite songs were Disillusion, and that song is fucking awesome just because whoever the, the front man is just goes absolutely ludicrous and crazy, and that song is cool. And Rising Tide would be my second favorite. I'm going to go 7.9 out of 10, just mainly because of the mixing issues, but I know you guys self produced it, and, and other than that little thing, like just we just got to adjust that little thing, and then everything is going to be hunky door for you guys, you're going to be just alright. Um, so yeah, that one was fun man, Seven Cities Dead, Siren Songs of the Apocalypse EP Review, Facebook.com slash Seven Cities Dead Band, if you guys enjoyed that one, they're from Kyle Keel, Wisconsin, I'm not sure how to say it, but uh, this one's fun guys, thank you guys for uh, submitting to do the EP Review, and uh, please go and like their Facebook page. Find their Bandcamp page, go on there and download the album, buy the album, support them, whatever you can do. If you get a chance to catch them at a live show, tell them local band Smoke Out sent you, and definitely fucking buy some merch, man. Support them. These guys are really cool. And uh, they're going to clean up the mix next time, and we're going to get a, maybe another submission, and for sure, we're going to hit the eights or the nines. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. It was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you guys for doing this, and... Uh, uh, if you're watching this and you're interested in having something like this done for yourself, facebook.com slash local band smoke out. Make sure you like the page and watch the video that auto plays at the very top. It'll explain everything you need to know how to submit correctly and or skip the waiting list and or get an album or EP review just like Seven Cities Dead just did. And it was a lot of fun, man. So um, <clears throat> other than that, I'm on Instagram, Masters, YouTube, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you get a chance, follow, subscribe to me on YouTube. It's way easier to find all 800 plus episodes I've ever done of Local Band Smoking on YouTube um, by subscribing and following the page versus on Facebook. It's way harder. But other than that, cheers and keep blazing. Peace.